you might want to create a marquee text and images in this loop that keeps going over and over again. For you to make that in breakdance, it is pretty simple. And we're just going to utilize a very small piece of code that you can find on Supermike's website to make the scroll look more linear. So let's get into breakdance and I'm going to show you how to make this. So this is my breakdance website. So over here, you can see that I already made this and I am going to remove everything that we do have in the advanced slider and we're going to start. All right. So let me take this out. Okay. So we do have some, and this is just like a little page that I'm doing for this. So don't really worry about that. Let's get into what we are going to use. So over here, we are going to use a slider. And when you type in slider, you're going to see that there is two, two of them. You have the basic slider and the advanced slider. The advanced slider gives you more option when it comes to like combining images and combine, uh, combining images with text. So that is what we are going to use. The basic slider doesn't give you that much options. So just click on advanced slider. When you click on that, you're going to receive like, you're going to see um, a bunch of slides over here. And the only thing that we do need is just the first one, which contains text like this. And I'm going to double click on it and type in marquee or whatever text that you want to use. But I'm using the word marquee to do this. So after typing in marquee, I am just going to change the color a bit. So I think um, color that I'm going to use, I'm going to copy the color from here. So copy that and click on this and put that color in here. And that is fine. All right, for typography, it is really important that you use a typography that fits what you're doing. Uh, for me, I'm going to, so if you don't know, this is a website that I created. It is called, um, here's the URL. It is clamster.obstudios.io. You can go there to generate clams. Clams are really, um, they are really, um, how do you call it? They are more responsive when you are using it to like generate to generate the size of your text rather than just using normal pixels or RAM or REM. So if you want to use clamps, you can go there. So I'm just copying the clamp function because I don't need this font size. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to come in here. Sorry, go over here and just paste in, change this onto custom and then paste in what I just copied. And you can see that on my highest font size is 120 pixels and my lowest is going to be um, going back is going to be 46 pixels. So that is done because there's a bunch of space around this, which I'm going to fix by making sure that we don't have any pattern here. All right. So there's no pattern. So everything looks good. All right. So that is the first thing that we did. Um, the next thing I want to do is when we go back to, I didn't think we, we do see that we have this icon over here. So let's add that icon. So I'm just going to duplicate this. And then in here, I'm going to click on add and for, I'm going to add an image. And then for the image, I'm just going to select this image that I do have over here. And yeah, I'm going to change the size to the size of the font, which is 120 pixels. And that should be good. All right, let's remove this header. And that is fine. All right, so I'm just going to duplicate this. Put this over here, duplicate this. Um, put this also over here and duplicate this too again and then duplicate this again all right so we do have something like this and let's go i'm going to go into the front end uh, let's make let's refresh this all right so you can see that at the moment you have to click for it to scroll so we're going to fix all of that and we do have like the arrows and other stuff over here and this things over here so we're going to fix that so let's click on this Click on the main advanced slider and then click on the styling option and go into slider and we're going to remove the arrows first. So disable arrow, go to pagination, pagination, make sure that it is none. So now we, we don't have any of those things because this is going to auto play by itself. After that, we're still selecting the advanced slider. So in the settings panel, you're just going to click on settings and in fact, you can leave effect as it is. You don't have to touch it. Um, one thing we're going to do is make sure that autoplay is enabled and then infinity is also enabled and that is good. And then we are going to go into the advanced settings over here. 
what I'm going to use depending on the size of your font. If your, if your text or whatever that you're using in here is too big, you might have to play with it to get the correct size. But what I have seen for this marquee text is if I do 3.5, it might be good for what I am trying to do. You can see that the space between this and that is not that great. But when I go to a really wider screen, it might work. So as I'm saying, you will have to tweak things around to make sure that it is working for you. So you can see the space here is pretty good and it is scrolling by itself. But now you can see that there's a delay. We are going to remove the delay with a small code that we are going to copy. All right, so this being done, the next thing that we are going to do is still go back into the settings panel and we are going to change the speed. I'm going to use 5000. So it to run like really smooth. So let's go here and then refresh again. Let's wait for it to play. All right, so it scrolls into view just like that. And that is um, that is pretty good. Okay, so how do you make it just keep scrolling without it having to like scroll and stop and scroll and stop? And that is what we are going to get a code from Super Mike's website. So let's go in here. I am going to put in, so I just copy the URL. So I'm going to paste the URL over here. All right, so this is what we need. There's the URL. I'm going to paste the URL also inside the description and then you just go and then you, you can just copy it. But what we need is this code, this specific code that he has over here. So I'm just going to click here and then copy it and go back into our design and then make sure that I have selected the advanced slider. And then in here, I am just going to paste it. So what is this code doing? So the, um, the selector is definitely telling you that it is just for this advanced slider and the swipe um the swiper wrapper is also a class that you can find when you go into the dev mode you can see there's a swiper and then he's changing the transition timing from whatever that it is now to linear so linear will make it more smoother rather than it going and stopping and delaying all right so going into the front we're just going to refresh again <laughs> All right, so that is what we are looking at. We just need to make a little tweak over here. Um, let's go into autoplay, right? In autoplay, we are going to make sure that the speed over here is zero. All right, so let's save that. And then we just gonna refresh again. So they consider now it is playing continuously without it having to like move and stop. So if you're looking to create a marquee for your own website, or you won't have like um, an infinite scroll of text. You can remove the, the images and just do like continuous scroll of text. You might have seen it somewhere. Like just the text, just keep scrolling. To do that, you can use the advanced slider. Um, if you don't want to have images in it, you can just use the big slider and it just make sure that you do the whole settings that you saw me do. And after that, you have gotten yourself a marquee slider. That is pretty, uh, that's pretty nice and it should work. One thing that you also have to know is make sure that you are using clams or you're using a more responsive font. And you have to also make sure that you are mindful of the sizes that you're using because if your size is too big, it might not be able to fit your screen and it might look more overlapped. So with all that being, uh, that, that being said, I hope you've learned something. And I hope you're also going to implement this on your own design. Give your design a bit of flair, give it a bit of styling, make it different. And hopefully you should be making um, better websites. All right. Uh, name is Nyako. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.